focus, determination to excel as part of a team. And of course, not being afraid of necessary roughness. All useful attributes in an American college football player. American universities have a long tradition of awarding scholarships to students who display excellence out on the sports field. With a US degree costing tens of thousands of dollars, an athletic scholarship can pay for tuition and in some cases lead to a career as a professional athlete. It's not just the gridiron that offers these opportunities, so does the basketball court, the baseball diamond, and now, the keyboard and mouse. These students are benefiting from scholarships which cover some of the cost of their university degrees. They're part of a college team which plays the video game League of Legends competitively. Step it up! Take this! Robert Morris University in Chicago is the first in the world to offer an athletic scholarship of this kind. Kurt Melcher is one of the sports coaches at the college. The electronic or e-sports scholarship was his idea. We're in a uh, collegiate league. There's actually 105 other schools that are, are in this league. We're the only ones that have uh, decided to be varsity and give athletic scholarships for it. They practice Monday through Friday, uh, with four hour blocks. Uh, everyone in this room is receiving some sort of scholarship. Uh, so it's somewhat like a job, but you know, it's a job that they love. Wildly popular, League of Legends is a MOBA, or multiplayer online battle arena game, with each player controlling a champion, attempting to defeat their opponents in online combat by capturing the enemy stronghold. RMU's esports team, the Eagles, have a dedicated practice space, kitted out with ultra-responsive mechanical keyboards and high-end computers and monitors. And the players receive analysis and discussions on tactics from coaches. Yeah. Wait, explain why you guys decide to go for Much like all of the college's other team sports. I've been playing four years, almost five. I heard about the scholarship through Reddit. At, I, like, I scrolled over it and I didn't think it was like a real thing. I used to play League a lot. I mean, yeah, I was pretty much addicted to the game, but here you have to, you have to play so much to keep up and to be the best, like, we're undefeated and we do that because we practice so much. This year's League of Legends World Championships took place in the home of eSports, South Korea. 40,000 fans filled Seoul's World Cup Stadium to witness a Korean professional team called Samsung White eventually win to collect a prize of $1 million. On campus in Chicago, student Sandra Burrows plays for the Eagles and she thinks a future in games beckons. Being pro would actually be really cool. Uh, I also want a, a dual major in video game developing, so there's that. My life pretty much is just surrounded around video games and esports in general, so if, if going pro isn't an option for me, I mean, I'm definitely still going to be in the scene, whether it be marketing, shoutcasting, managing, anything like that. Like, my hand's going to be in it somehow. I think there's so many parallels to traditional sports outside of the physical exertion that League of Legends and eSports provide. It's, it's certainly just as competitive. When I see the players in this room practicing and in game, that's that same competition level that you would see in American football or baseball or soccer. Just because it's not cardiovascular, it's very detail-oriented. You have to have a lot of uh, hand-eye coordination and you have to have a strategic mind. All those things uh, mirror traditional sports uh, up and down. And just as some college athletes will make the jump to the high-paid world of professional sports, perhaps some of the gamers in this room will graduate to the big time in a similar way. Easy pay.